Say it. I deserve it. I deserve it. Again. I deserve, deserve it. it. Feels good, doesn't it? Shrink Next Door tells the story of a very codependent relationship that spans 27 years. Marty Markowitz and his sister Phyllis, they've just lost their parents. He's very vulnerable and feels that the walls are caving in on him. What are you, what are you doing? Seeing how much stress her big brother was under, Phyllis recommended a therapist, Ike. At first, Dr. Ike is everything you would hope a therapist would be. A great listener, really helps him solve problems. The thing about obstacles, they're either stumbling blocks or stepping stones. They're kind of having an identity crisis. Ike is feeling a lack of fulfillment with being a therapist, and Marty is really ill-equipped to deal with the obstacles that are being thrown his way. You okay, puppy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having one of my panic attacks, and it, it'll pass. Ike helped him enormously at the beginning. Then that relationship morphed into something unhealthy. Welcome! Dr. Ike starts to manipulate him. He takes over Marty's Hamptons house. What's the big deal if they think it's my place? I mean, who cares whose place it is? I agree. This doctor seems a little unconventional, huh? But the thing is, he cares so much. It starts to get further away from what's acceptable. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm working on you, but I don't think you're working on you. you I promise, I'll work harder. Marty doesn't realize how bad it is. He's just thankful that this therapist is in his corner. I don't trust him. He's trying to help me. Phyllis was toxic. You did the right thing by cutting her out of your life. By separating him from Phyllis, Marty and I really become so intertwined, which is the heart of the story. You are growing, Marty! I mean, this is all because of you. You should be proud of yourself. I'm proud of you. I wanted the audience to feel sort of seduced and charmed by Ike, just as Marty is. Everything's gonna be all right. I'm not gonna let anyone use you. It's heartbreaking. You go into it thinking, well, that would never happen to me. I'd be impervious to the journey that this guy went on. When you're in it, you just think differently. It's very easy to believe what we want to believe. You know I'm doing this for you. Anyone at any moment feeling vulnerable could go down this road. Trust is at the very core of who I am. I do trust you. <laughs>